What's going on guys? Bears with Knives here and today I'm back again with another knife review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Fox Knives Baby Core. Now this is a very interesting knife from Fox Knives and I'm going to be talking about it today. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick shot of the knife front and back. Put that off to the side for the moment. Here's the packaging. It comes in pretty standard uh, Fox Knives box uh, right here. Nothing too special about it. There we go. Now I'm going to give you a couple size comparisons for this knife. So first one is the Ontario Wrap Model 2, right there. Next one is a knife that is very similar to the Baby Core in my opinion, and that is the CRKT Squid. And then next one here is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 Tonto Blade, right there. And last but not least, another knife that is pretty similar in size the Cold Steel Tough Light, right there. So there we go, now let's talk stats. So I purchased this knife from BladeHQ.com, which is where you can purchase this knife as well. I am not in any way endorsed or sponsored by Blade HQ. I just like them as a retailer, and I tend to buy a lot of my knives from them. And I pulled the stats I'm about to list from their website, so if they're wrong in any way, don't blame me, blame them. So the first thing is, the overall length on this knife is a 5.75 inches, the blade length is 2.375, the handle length is 3.375, and your weight is 2.84 ounces. So there we go. Now let's talk price. You're going to be paying anywhere between $70 to $80 for this particular knife, depending on what version you get, and there's a lot. You have this one here in the red. They have orange, blue, green. The list goes on and on and on. I'd, hear, I'd be here for an hour trying to list every color. Uh, but basically, no matter what color you want, they're probably going to have it available for you. And just depending on which one you pick, you're going to be paying... 70 to 80 bucks. I believe this red one right here uh, was $70. So there we go. And this is the Baby Core, which is the smaller version. They also do offer the regular Core, which is a bit bigger and is more around the $130 range, I think. So if you like the design of this knife, but it's a little too small, check out the regular Fox Core, and maybe that will be a little more up your alley. So first thing here is the handles. These are a polymer, FRN, GR, GRN handle. It's all the same thing, basically. It's just a polymer-type handle here, but it's got this very nice design on it. Uh, I like that. And you have a pocket clip here. It's a wire clip, very similar to the clips you will see on some Spyderco knives, uh, which I love. It works great. goes in and out of the pocket fine. you got plenty of ramp. Uh, it's got enough spring to it, works well, good pocket clip. It's also tip up right or left hand carry so you can swap it to the other side, which is always a nice feature. And you have a nice little backspacer as well there too. Alright, so this knife is running on ball bearings and you have the flipper tab here and the action on this knife is pretty good flips out reliably. I haven't had any misfires uh, with this knife. Flips out every time uh, I push the flipper tab, so the action is good on those ball bearings. So here is that blade. It's a very uh, nice blade. It's a black wash kind of finish on there. Looks good. I like the overall look of the knife with the black and red. And this is a Jesper Voxnes design. Uh, as you can see there, his maker's mark. Uh, Vox, he's done a lot of designs. Um, one that most people will probably know is the CRKT Pilar. Uh, Vox designed uh, that knife as well. This knife is made in Italy, and this knife has a N690CO steel. And for those of you unfamiliar, N690 steel is pretty comparable to VG10. Now, some people will say N690 has less edge retention than VG10, but they're pretty similar uh, in terms of how they perform. Uh, so, you know, pretty standard steel, and especially from Fox. Uh, Fox uses a lot of N690. Uh, N690 is a very popular steel in Italian-made knives, and it's a decent steel. You know, it's not the best by any means, but it's decent. It holds an edge. An edge. It sharpens pretty easy. So there we go. Now let's talk about the fit and finish on this particular knife. The fit and finish is actually 
uh, pretty good. The blade came centered out of the box. The blade came sharp. There's no blade play on here. It's rock solid. So the fit and finish is good on this knife. Uh, next thing is how the knife carries. I mentioned I like the pocket clip. Uh, the pocket clip works well, but the knife is very compact. It doesn't take up a lot of room, and it carries very well uh, in the pocket. So nothing to complain about while you're carrying the knife. Next thing is the ergonomics. The ergonomics are actually pretty good on this knife. This knife is a little fatter than you would think, but not in an obtrusive way. It actually fills the hand very comfortably, uh, and it fits pretty well in the hand. So the ergonomics are pretty decent on this particular knife. Uh, the next thing is just the overall design. I mentioned that I like the pattern on the handle, but I just like the overall design of this knife. The color, how the design flows, I just like the overall look of this knife. And you have a liner lock on here, and it's got a lot of jimping on here, and it's very easy to access and use that liner lock. So there we go. So, what do I like about this knife? I like the overall design. It looks good. There's a bunch of different colors available to you. Uh, it's got a nice pocket clip that goes in and out of the pocket well. The knife carries good because of its compact size. Uh, you got a lanyard hole on here if you want to put a lanyard on here because it is kind of a small knife, so some people might want to do that. The pocket clip is swappable. It's got a good action on ball bearings. You got a decent blade of N690 steel and pretty good ergonomics. So that's everything I like about this knife. So let's talk about things I don't quite like about this knife. Uh, first thing is the pocket clip. Um, I get a little bit of a hot spot off the back of the clip uh, when I have this knife in hand. Right here off of that side I get a little bit of a hot spot in my hand off of the clip but that's kind of what happens when you get a lot of these clips. You'll see that with spider codes that have wire clips just with how the clip is, it tends to create a little bit of a hot spot. So it's not a huge deal, but something worth mentioning. Next thing here is that this knife looks like it has a finger choil, but it's really not. And that's really kind of unfortunate, because this is a smaller knife, but because of that finger choil not really being a finger choil, you're forced to go back here. And in my particular hands, I can still fit all my fingers on this knife but if you have any larger hands than me this knife is going to be kind of small in your hand and you might not enjoy the knife because it doesn't fit very well in your hand but hopefully you can see this that finger choil it looks very much like a finger choil but once you get it in hand it just doesn't really work the finger choil is a little too small and as you can see my finger if i'm really trying to grip this knife and use it my finger is right on that edge so i just don't trust it um in using it the finger choil is just not big enough to accommodate uh, my finger and i don't have particular uh, big hands so it's just I would like to see them improve that finger choil so you can be able to choke up and that would make this knife much more comfortable ergonomically and would allow more people with some larger hands to be able to use this knife more comfortably. Uh, so that's just a big missed opportunity for me is just that finger choil is just not quite good enough. I just I'm right on that edge right there. I can feel that edge right against my finger right there uh, and I don't really trust it. And then probably the last thing is that given the blade shape of this particular knife, you don't have a lot of tip to work with on the end of this knife. Um, it's pretty blunted as well here towards the top. So if you're looking for a knife uh, that has some piercing capability, if you're going to be cutting into things quite a bit, you know, piercing into things and cutting out, um, you know, you can do it. It's just not as nice as it could be. Uh, they definitely could have done a little bit of a better job giving this knife a more uh, capable tip. Uh, so that's what I don't like about this knife. So final thoughts on this particular knife is this knife is okay. It's got a decent design. It's got a nice clip. It carries well. It's got a good action. It's made in Italy with a decent steel, decent materials, uh, put together well, good fit and finish. So there's nothing all too wrong 
with it, it's just got a couple issues, you know, the hot spot off the pocket clip. The finger troil is probably the biggest thing uh, I don't like about this knife. It's just, they just did it wrong, which is unfortunate. And you could just have a little bit of a better tip on this knife. So, as I said, this knife is okay. It's nothing great. It's nothing awful. It's kind of in the middle and, you know, just in the pack of a lot of knives in this same uh, price range that are good but not great. And I would say that's honestly the biggest problem for this knife is the competition. Uh, at this price point, there is a lot of knives that are very similar to this one, but that are done a lot better than this one. So, definitely this would not be my first choice of a knife in this price range. Uh, there's just so much competition in this price range. Uh, but if you're in love with the design, if this design speaks to you, if you look at it and you say, you know what, I love that, I want it, I want to buy it, go right ahead, knock yourself out, buy it, and you'll like it. But just for me, it's okay, it doesn't really blow me away, it doesn't thrill me in any particular way, um, you know, it's just... It's got a couple things it could work on to be a little better, especially, you know, that choil. But it's an okay knife. But for me, I, I can't say I would really recommend it just because the price range, where it's at. There's so many different other knives that I would pick way before this one. Uh, so I wouldn't really recommend it as my first choice uh, of a knife. But hey, as I said, if you really love this design, go for it. Uh, pick it up. Uh, but that's really it for me. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.